Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. In the upper left-hand corner, we have Art of Turtle starting as the Purple Zerg. Upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the Blue Protoss. This is on Turbine, and it is BSL Season 14, Hasu League, Round of 16, Group B, Game 1. And just in case, I'm not sure if I showed Turbine previously. It's been a while, so let me go ahead and go over the architecture of the map. You have a natural expansion down here, which is interior to these two creep colonies, and we've got hallucinated mineral fields, which are ticking down from, I think it was 75 to start. Not sure what the deal with that is. Maybe it was something that was needed to prevent something or just to allow those to be. I, it's not to prevent creep spread because you can see the creep spreading right here on Art of Turtle's side of the map. But what this does is it basically gives a pseudo free natural expansion. Interior and well protected. But you also have this extremely exposed, typically third base that's got the seven mineral patches and is a mineral only. But you can see where Dragoons on the exterior, High Templar, Siege Tanks, a lot of stuff can interrupt that third base so after you get those initial two bases make sure you have a lot of troops that are macroing up and you have some sort of presence looks like this overlord is making its way towards fisheye's base should get first scout there let's see where fisheye's probe goes looks like he's going to go for a gateway first opener rather than a forge first opener and actually not opting to go for 14 nexus or anything along those lines which honestly feels like a bit of a i always feel like if you got that free expansion you're not grabbing it perhaps a, lo a lost opportunity art of turtle I've seen him time and time again open 12 hatch, even on maps where I think it is sometimes ill-advised. Looks like he's going to try to clog the gap with this drone momentarily. He needs to make sure he gets the first shot versus this probe if he's going to stand any... I think they might win depending on... Oh, nope. Didn't get the first shot. I think drones can win this fight, but if you don't get that first shot off, not going to happen. So this drone going to go ahead and peel off potentially build a building down the line. Whoops. Fisheye going ahead and confirming that natural expansion is there. This drone trailing off to go ahead and harass the probe to make sure... Maybe to make sure the spawning pool? Never mind. I thought that was going to be the damage drone that was going to be building this, but a l almost an interruption on the spawning pool, but a good amount of damage on this probe. And considering the meta, I don't think this is a, very, a great map for 973, but it's still a possibility. This is a lot of damage done on this. Fisheye is one of those guys where... We'll see if he... Well, it looks like he is going to be able to escape with this now. Fisheye is one of those guys that I feel like when he's playing his best, he is capable of taking a Hustle League championship. However, sometimes it feels like he's had some... Maybe it's just having the time to practice. Hasn't been at his top level of play. It looks like this time he's going to send the... He got... Blah, <laughs> caught up in my own words here. Zealot making its way. Second Zealots can spawn shortly, so definitely dedicating with some pressure. The spawning pool is going to be a ways off, so Art of Turtle is going to need to defend his drone line versus this encroachment. The probe's also going to be here, so it having a lot of damage is actually going to help somewhat in this defense. So Spawning Pool just finishing as the Zealot walks past it. Now the Zerglings being produced, but the drones are going to have their work cut out for them. The probe immediately getting annihilated because it didn't have a lot of health. And this is great micro from Arbitral. You can see he's shuffling out the damaged drone each time behind the, and creating a drone wall with this Zealot. So the Zealot getting taken care of in short order, not a single drone was taken out so you have four damaged drones but none of them have died and this out trying to hide in that back corner this out wants to go in and get another kill that one being similarly the southern one being similar summarily killed this sell it trying to flee and yeah wow so fish i got nothing might and some drones pulling off to go ahead these drones just want to bully this out he's like you can't threaten our hive is it hive what it, what would you call this collective you can't collective you you can't threaten our collective <laughs> And this is going to be a bit of... This is still a good amount of interrupted mining time. But still, no drones lost. Overlord confirms the Nexus behind this. Looks like there is going to be another two Zelts to go ahead and plug the gap this for, for Fisheye. He's got that cybernetic score up. He has started mining gas. We'll see if Art of Turtle can adjust. He's running off three bases. Four Zergling is going to go ahead and creep out to the front. They're not going to be able to breach... Well, they can attack the creep colonies, but they're not going to be able to do much else. Kind of odd to see the green pustule stuff leaking out of here and not sliding down the ramp. I guess it just has magic. Maybe it's like a, one of those magic fountains that just constantly uh, does this. It looks like the Zerglings are going to go ahead and attack that creep colony. Zealot's able to get a kill right there to force them back. Three Zealots on the front. I don't think Art of Turtle wants to press this any further. Pretty decent drone count. Forge and a Stargate now being plopped down. I don't even know that this forge is necessary on this map, but the Stargate is confirmed. Extractor has not yet been finished for Art of Turtle. And he's already plopped down a third hatchery, which makes me wonder, is he going to go for a Zergling Flood here? Maybe, absolutely, potentially needs to get Hydralisks down 
to deal with the Corsair that's going to be in his face momentarily, but I believe that, well, certainly one Overlord's going to die. Some more Overlords might get taken out. It looks like Art of Turtle, I missed it, grabbed a base at the 4 o'clock location while all this was happening, so he wants to macro heavy. So he's going for that standard... Well, I guess not standard. He's going for a very odd variation of the 4-hatch play. This is going to give him a lot of production. He's producing a ton of Zerglings, but I don't know that he has an answer for the air. Second gas being grabbed from Fisheye as well. Zealots marching their way there let's see if they find the six o'clock base so they're just marching out and this is without any scouting information whatsoever maybe just a nose for it might and here's the thing you might check it here he needs to maybe if he sees the creep and this is going to be past a, con a cancellation a lot of zerglings flooding this direction unfortunately for fisheye this means these zealots are going to well they confirm maybe he was scouting for an overlord and just luckily got this two zerglings are hiding in the corner while the rest of the zerglings flood in Fisheye's probably going to lose these three Zealots, plus the Zerglings can be built on location to go ahead and defend this, but it looks like he is going to get a decent amount of Zergling kills. But I still worry about the anti-air for Arbitral behind this, because that first Corsair... Oh, but the Corsair... Well, Fisheye is distracted, having delays. And that is unfortunate, because that would have been a potential easy win. Zealot down there dying. It looks like this Zealot going to die on location as well, and that's going to allow Arbitral to go ahead and establish this space. But there's three... Oh, finally, the Corsair is creating an assault. There's three overlords that are stranded away from defenses, potentially. A Heidel's den just now being placed there. A couple drones idle as of yet. A couple drones transferring to this southern base. And this is going to be five-hatch Hydra now in transition and a sizable economy for Art of Turtle to roll behind it. And unfortunately for Fisheye, I think he could have gotten more done with this Corsair if it moved out a little bit earlier. Instead, got one kill. Did put Art of Turtle in the red, but Art of Turtle should be able to overproduce overlords here and it looks like he's already done so but needs to get hydralisks out potentially going to lose yet another overlord and potentially more another corsair is moving on its way the zerglings currently holding position in front just in case some zealots were opting to move out but yeah that's going to be a second overlord wiped out still plenty of supply to go ahead and fill in with the hydralisks but fisheye getting a good amount of damage maybe equalizing things potentially by Forcing Hydralisks here and putting Art of Turtle somehow in the red, despite all of this. Two more Overlords being produced. It looks like we do have the four Hydralisks out, but he still has more targets. He might have been able to take here that because you got what three Overlords in this bottom right hand section that are all exposed. And Fisheye currently uh, maybe lost track of them, didn't take note of them. The Zealots marching out, and right now Art of Turtle in trouble because that Zealot leg speed is plus one weapons is gonna finish on the way. And so Zealot Leg Speed plus that, and they're going to have a field day here at the 6 o'clock location. A bunch of Zerglings being produced, but I don't know that Art... And Art of Turtle was in the red between all of that. So maybe if he can field in and get some more Hydralisks to the 6 o'clock location. But the Corsair looks like one Corsair must have been taken out. The second Corsair moving up to pin those Hydralisks in place so the Zealots can get their work done at the 4 o'clock location. So the Zerglings trying to engage. The drones just fleeing outright, but this... With a bit of micro, Fisheye is going to be able to take down an evolution chamber. Certainly, definitely might even get some hatcheries. Now Zerglings re-engaging. The drones trying to re-attack. So, a very aggressive economic opener being punished now for Arbitral. The Zelts fleeing or getting pushed out a little bit more. More reinforcements coming up. Now the Corsair joining this attack force. And again, that's going to lead them into the juicy, juicy overlords that had very little defense. More Zelts pressing up. There are Hydralisks trying to stave off the reinforcements. But they're very quickly going to get pinned. And honestly, yeah, the Zealots plus Leg Speed plus damage, there, I don't think there's any saving this at this stage. And plus that Corsair is taking out Overlord after Overlord. So even if Art of Turtle could produce the troops, or wanted to produce, he does want to produce the troops, can't produce the troops right now, because these Corsair are constantly preventing him from doing so. A couple Zealots getting <laughs> micro down to the south, but I don't think it makes a difference. These Hydralisks certainly going to get wiped out. And Fisheye, not even, it looks like he's just going to macro up behind this. Art of Turtle calling GG wisely right there. So game one in a very convincing fashion going to Fisheye. Art of Turtle getting way too aggressive with his macro and not having anti uh, sufficient anti-air defense to deal with it. And Fisheye with a, a strong start. I like to see it. Kind of a fan of both these guys, actually. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.